So I like to think I know a lot about hockey, and then I look at my predictions. That pretty much sums up how I feel right now. I mean, one out of four series. One out of four! Puck drops on the conference finals tonight, so I guess there's nothing to do but to wrap these series up and move on. Caps versus Pittsburgh. This series was very exciting, even though it ended with a clunker in the seventh game. I couldn't believe that Washington lost 6-2 to two in the final. 6-2! to two! Especially since the other games were so close. It started off being all Washington. I mean, they won the first two games, and they looked like they were ready to take it. Went back to Pittsburgh, and all of a sudden, Evgeny Malkin wakes up, and it's looking like it's all Pittsburgh. So full marks to Pittsburgh on the comeback win. Very impressive. Very exciting series. Good job to the Pittsburgh Penguins. They advance on to the conference finals. Boston versus Carolina. Where did the Canes come from this year? I mean, I didn't even predict them to get by New Jersey, let alone the first seeded team in the East. I picked Boston to be in the Stanley Cup final. Carolina's success is largely attributable to three players that are crazy hot right now. Eric Stahl, UC Okanen, and Cam Ward carrying the team on their backs. Not to say that the rest of the team is a bunch of slouches, but I mean, if you didn't have Eric Stahl on that team, or even Cam Ward, Boston would have taken this series without batting an eye. I wanted to talk a little bit here about the Scott Walker-Aaron Ward incident. What did you all think about that one? In case you didn't hear about it, Scott Walker was in a bit of a tussle with Aaron Ward. Aaron Ward gave sh Scott Walker a bit of a shove and then let his hands drop to his side. Scott Walker grabbed his jersey and punched him right in the orbital bone and broke it. I've heard both sides of the story. A lot of people think it was a cheap shot because Aaron Ward's hands at, were at his sides and he wasn't engaged. I've also heard the side that, well, Aaron Ward was engaged because he gave the guy a shove and he started it. Now, my view on the situation, it was a cheap shot. Aaron Ward was not expecting someone to totally slug him. He gave this guy a shove, just kind of saying, you know, back off. And retribution for a shove would be a face wash or something. You don't just throw off the gloves and knock some guy out. I thought it deserved a suspension, but of course it's the NHL and they don't take action on anything. It was a cheap shot. He wasn't engaged. I'll leave it at that, but I want to know what you think. Was it a cheap shot or wasn't it? Western Conference. Vancouver versus the Blackhawks. Canada's last team is out of it. I'm very upset about this one because I was cheering for Vancouver. I like them. They're a very good team. And also, Matt Sundin, former Leafs captain, is now out of the playoffs again. And with that, the Matt Sundin soap opera starts again. Well, you know, I think I'm going to play, but I'm not completely sure. And, um... You know, it's just there's a lot of stuff going on. I might not play, but I might, so I'm not going to tell you. But, you know, it's it's going to take me a while to decide. And I think Matt will be back next season. I don't know if he'll be back with the Canucks or not, but um, I think he wants to win a cup, and I'd say he deserves it. So, Matt, I hope to see you back in the league next year, even though you won't be wearing a Leaf. And I have to give Chicago credit. I mean, I thought their lack of experience would just kill them. But look where they are now. Conference Finals. Who would have thought? That last game was just amazing. You had the Canucks going goal for goal with the Blackhawks. It was fantastic. Then, of course, the Canucks take stupid penalties and the game gets out of hand. You have Patrick Kane in the first year in his playoffs getting his first NHL hat trick. Johnny Taves getting second star of the game honors. That team is a lot better than most of us gave them credit for. Moving on to the next series, we have Detroit Red Wings versus the Ducks. And you know what? I'm very surprised at the Ducks. 
A few people picked the Ducks to take out San Jose in the first round, but I don't think anyone predicted the Ducks to go to seven games against the Wings. Their defense was amazing for them. Jonas Hiller was a difference maker for the Ducks, but eventually they just couldn't keep up with the Wings. So the Wings returned to the conference final for the second year in a row. Now we get to the part I'm not so good at. Predictions. I guess I gotta get back on this horse and try again. We'll start with a series in the East. We've got the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Carolina Hurricanes. This series is going to go to seven games and I'm very hesitant to pick a winner. On one side you have Eric Stahl, UC Okunen, and Cam Ward, and on the other side you have Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, Jordan Stahl, and Marc-Andre Fleury. These teams have both been great in the postseason, and this series is going to be very exciting. One thing that's going to be interesting to see will be Stahl versus Stahl. Of course, I'm talking about Jordan Stahl versus his big brother, Eric Stahl. This will be the first time since two brothers have met up in the conference finals in 35 years. Now, it seems pretty clear to me that Eric Stahl is the better player. He's been carrying Carolina on his back. But, Jordan Stahl is also a very good player, and it'll be interesting to see how intense their rivalry gets over the entire series. Both teams are very good, but I think Pittsburgh is just a little bit better. This series, like I said, seven games, and I pick the Pittsburgh Penguins to just edge out the Canes. Moving on to the West, we have the Detroit Red Wings versus the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm very excited about this, an original six matchup. The only two original six teams in the Western Conference in the meeting in the Conference Final. These two teams are very similar. Both high-scoring offenses, both fast, both very talented. This series will be very close as well. I'm hesitant to pick a winner, but I think I'm going to go with Detroit in this one. It's just that uh, Chicago is young, and they're great, but they're inexperienced. I know I used that against them before, but I mean, you look at Detroit, they're virtually unchanged from the team that won the Cup last year. They got even a little bit better by adding another big name to their growing list of players, Marion Hossa. The Blackhawks do have Taves, Kane, Brian Campbell, Cavi Bulin, Martin Havlat. You have Detroit with Pavel Datsuk, Henrik Zetterberg, Marian Hossa, Chris Osgood, and, oh yeah, some Swedish defenseman, some like Nicholas Lidstrom or something. Anyway, I pick Detroit to win this one in seven. They're big, they're scary, but it'll be close. Another stat to keep in mind about Detroit is four out of the last five times they were in the conference final, they advanced to the Stanley Cup final. And each of those times, they won the Cup. And, if my predictions are correct, it'll be a rematch of last year's Stanley Cup final, Pittsburgh and Detroit. And that'll be the first time since 1977 and 1978 that two teams have met in the Stanley Cup finals twice in a row. That was when the Montreal Canadiens defeated the Boston Bruins twice in a row. Anyway, those are my predictions. Sit back and enjoy this round because it's going to be great, like all the other rounds this year. Keep watching and I'll see you when these series are over.